Well, howdy there, folks. This is your host, ID Jester. We are going to be playing a playthrough of Endless Legend. This is uh, down here in the bottom left-hand corner, version 1.0.2, which was just released today. Basically, it fixed a bunch of uh, problems and such with the uh, <coughs> some of the the game mechanics and uh, mostly fixes. I don't think they really incorporate anything. This is the full release version, I should mention. I think I had posted some videos quite a while back. I was one of the uh, pre-released guys on this and um, had to put some videos out on this quite a while back. But I haven't really played this much. So this is just going to be a learning tutorial game. So if you're looking for like exactly how to play this game, you might want to uh, come back later and see if we can learn how to play this game better but this is what the this is what we're going to learn we're going to learn how to play it so we're going to start a new game here um what do we have okay so we have uh, normal difficulty normal speed custom factions four empires world size normal um roughly 60 by 90 hexagons World shape, uh, we have no oceans, two continents, four continents, a few continents, many continents, Pangea, large Pangea, large islands, islands, random and custom. Hmm. I usually like to play on randomness, and that way you don't know if you're gonna, how things are gonna play out going into it, but since this is our first playthrough, trying to learn the game I think we'll probably stay with something a little maybe just one big island mass sounds good uh, regular uh, disturbed chaotic random or custom hmm interesting uh, we'll just stay with the regular temperate arctic tundra arid desert random uh, we'll just keep it on ter temperate Average, topographical, and world difficulty normal. Those all sounds good. Those all sound good. Um, Empire summary. Alright, so here are the... What do we have here? Two, four, six, eight factions. Wild walkers. The broken lords. The vaulters. The roving clans. The ardent mages. The necrophages. Necrophages. The Draken and the Cultists. So, uh, let's see what these guys... They look interesting. <laughs> so we have... Uh, the main victory type is Supremacy. Interesting. They have uh, uh, special units. The Settlers. The Preachers, the Fanatics, and the Nameless Guard. So they look like some kind of religious cult type. Uh, interesting. So they have the High Seat of the Queen. Which gives us no Southern production. Plus one district level cap on city. Really? Alright. Uh, 160 city fortification on the main city. We have the fanatic unit, the preacher unit. Language square. Unlocks the army action parley on empire. Unlocks the army action bribe on empire. Okay. Traits conversion. Can convert pacified villages. Converted villages are lost for their original owner. Give all advantages on pacified villages to the new owner, no matter their location. Now, so basically, we could swoop in and steal other villages. Interesting. Um, <laughs> Capture city is immediately raised. Weapon of the enemy. Nameless guard is another unit. Called this main quest, and the military assign is a plus one slot on the military. So they look interesting, that is for sure. I don't believe these couple of these races were in the beta build. So, um, 
I guess we'll select the cultists. Uh, we'll put the other three on random. So we don't know what we're up against here. So this game does a real cool job of <coughs> um, basically... Um, actually, I'm going to cancel that and exit out. Alright. 